What's up, everybody? Nay Sarantino here, back with another episode of the Guide Spares podcast. Today, I'm going to talk to you all about the law of vibration. This is the fifth hermetic principle I've talked about now, and this is a very important one. I have a lot about this vibration in my course, but let me give you a, uh, a little preview, because... I, I have a lot to say in my course about this that, like, it goes so deep. I, I made a quote a while ago, and I want to talk about this quote. Energy is the only true currency in every single relationship amongst every person, atom, and particle in the universe. Basically, what I'm getting at here is that everything is energy. Energy connects everything. Energy is always being transferred. It's not created or destroyed. That's the first law of thermodynamics in a nutshell. And basically, energy moves in the form of vibrational waves that travel at different frequencies. This energy is light. Light travels at different, like, vibrations. And these vibrations are basically, like, imagine you have, like, radio waves. You can't see them. And then you have, like, uh, microwaves. You can't see them. And then somehow you have, like, the visible light spectrum. And you can see, like, the rainbow of colors. And then you can see all the different shades in between each, like, main color, like, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And then, like, once you go to, like, ultraviolet and you go to, like, gamma and x-rays and, like, so on and so on. Like, the whole point is, like, you, like, can't see most of the energy around you. And if you could, you would probably be tripping nutsack on LSD or, like, something crazy. Like, the whole point is, like, you don't want to see all that stuff. What you want to see is what you're supposed to see. Like, you you, you don't want to see through everyone. You don't want to see, like, all people's bones. Like, you don't want to, like, it would be it would be creepy to, like, be able to, like, do that stuff all the time. Now, I believe some people can, like, turn on and off, like, psychic abilities. And if you can, good for you. Use them to help people, don't hurt people. But vibration, it's important. And I just gave you a little bit of science to it. But, like, the whole point is, like, every element has its own vibration. It combines with other, like, elements, and they create chemical bonds with other things in between, like, other characteristics of the bonds. There's a bunch of different, like, I want to say, like, atomic distributions where, like, different forces, atomic forces... There's a lot more going on than just vibration. But vibration is an important part, and it all starts with the atoms, where every atom is vibrating at its own individual like frequency, like every element as in. And the vibration goes out further than the physical mass. This is the aura. Your aura is created from your atoms, and the more energy you have in your body, the more powerful your aura becomes. And this is why, like, certain people, you can feel them before they're even around. Or, like, when people are at a high vibration, you can feel that energy coming off them. And when people are at a low vibration, this is why, like, they, like, can suck energy from you. And this is why, like, that, the saying, like, uh, misery loves company comes from because people who are at low vibrations will, like, suck you down into them. Because they, like, they're basically like black holes at that point. Like, they just take energy from people and they don't give anything back. Be careful, of black holes. People are black holes, and you'll you'll meet when you meet them. You gotta learn when to stay away. And uh, certain people can vibe, certain people can't. There's such thing as toxic relationships, and you just have to understand that certain people, whether they're both at high vibrations or not, they will bring each other down, and that's just how it works. Certain people, whether they're both at low vibrations or not, if they see each other, they're gonna bring each other up, and you just have to understand that. This brings me to a more spiritual sense and this is like a whole once again i'm kind of like pulling some things from my course because like there's a lot here and it's it's really important to get this one um you got to control the like the vibe in the room and you can't let the vibe of a room control you and this can only be done by raising your vibration to a level that's so high that no one can bring you down. This is the fundamentals of why, like, crystals are the way they are. Like, I have a uh, massive 44-pound selenite crystal on my podcast desk. Um, one day, I'll have visual and do, like, more than just audio on this podcast. And uh, until then, you'll just have to take my word for it. But this crystal is really powerful. In fact, it can charge all the other crystals around it because it never loses its charge because of this like high high vibration that this crystal possesses and you have to possess a vibration so high that no one can bring you down and you have to like bring yourself up and 
This can only be done by expressing and exposing your insecurities and your miscomings and your mistakes. Because you have to understand that to be your authentic self, you have to show the world that you're not perfect because no one's perfect. And we all know that. We all know that everyone makes a lot of mistakes. And the people who are doing the best in this world have expressed their insecurities. And you can see that in, for instance, like uh, Taylor Swift's songs, like always are talking about how like she like has a lot of breakups and stuff. You know, it's an insecurity. She's exposing her own insecurities. And that's the whole point. Like, the whole point of me having a podcast is, like, to, like, shit on myself and be like, yo, here's all the different ways that I messed up. Here's how you can do better. And this is, like, these are the things I've been reflecting on lately while I've been, like, going about life and, like, recording my course and, like, just creating content and trying to better myself because I've been going through a lot lately. I made a lot of mistakes at the beginning of this year. And now like, it's like the end of February and I'm like, shit, like I got to get my life together. Even though I like know exactly what to do with my life and I still can make it better because I can always be better. I can make it so together that it's like so meshed that it's impossible to take apart. That's the goal. With that being said, you have to have a high vibration to do all this stuff. And raising your vibration is uh, the keys to building consciousness. Like a high vibration basically brings you to a higher state of consciousness. Or a higher state of consciousness will bring a high vibration. It's all about like thinking about shit. Like what are you doing? Why are you eating what you eat? Why do you think the thing? Why why do you respond on the thoughts that you respond on? Like why do you feel the things you feel? It's like controlling your feelings and controlling your vibration. Which feelings are vibrations is key. Um, I want to go over a... Uh, a map of consciousness. If you want to look this up, you can. Um, I'll put the link to it in the description. It's uh, by David R. Hawkins. And um, basically, the bottom of it, which are like the colors between like uh, red and yellow, are like survival. And this is like shame, guilt, apathy, grief, fear, desire, anger, pride. And then it moves to reason and integrity, which is like uh, top of yellow, green, and then like bottom of blue, which are like courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance, and reason. And then like a spiritual body is just love, joy, peace, and enlightenment. And the whole point is like you want to be living at like that love, joy, and peace. Like uh, people often refer to me when I'm at a really high vibration as a hurricane where I'm living in peace and everything around me is going crazy because I have so much energy and when you're spinning around really fast eventually you create a vortex and this vortex is like wow the inside is just like nothing like it's just like a solid circle like there's like me and my body are like at peace like we're just vibing but everything around me is going crazy because I have a lot of energy and this is all like about gravity and like you start to understand like solar systems and how like everything revolves around like certain areas like the densest mass like it's it's real it's this is how it works and um it's like you want to raise your vibration and you want to be at a uh, you want to be at a level of peace and you never want to lose this level of peace the, the number one thing you can have in this 21st century is peace and peace is a peace requires a high vibration it requires you to like really be at peace in your heart and once you are you are at peace in your heart then you will have peace internally and this requires you to uh, trust your own instincts and trust your intuition and it's like um, you can go so deep into frequencies and so fagio frequencies and how everything works. I have so much about this in my course, but the basics of it are you have a consciousness that's split up into seven parts, which are the seven colors that make up the rainbow body, which is why I just talked to you about the low vibrations being red, orange, and yellow, and then the heart being green, which is the mid-tier, and then the top, which is like the throat, third eye, and crown is like uh, blue, indigo, violet. The whole point of like your third eye being indigo and like people saying like people are like indigo souls is that like they're like, they're, they live on that like bridge of like... uh like their intuition, like they trust their intuition so much that they're like, they're, they call themselves indigo souls. Um, the idea is like to get to the, like that state of enlightenment where you're at like a, a frequency, like violet, where like, it's like not, it's like 
not ultraviolet, but like you're basically living in like the ethereal realm. Like you're you're more spirit than you are physical now, and like you don't see physical bodies at this point. Like you're way beyond the physical body. That all you see are people's vibrations, and you can see who has a lot of energy through a high vibration, who's like really expressing their light, and then who is like stuck in the darkness. And you can pick and choose who you want to help because you'll see who will respond to what based on what you're saying. And it's like you want to help the people who are close to getting to the light, and then once they're in their light they, they can also start helping people who are who are like close to getting into the light and the goal is like to build a community of light workers and then once you have all these light workers you can like start really sh like spreading out from there but you need to have a core you need to have like a sun in the middle and then you can like move out it's just like how the sun is in the middle of our solar system and then you have like the eight or technically maybe nine i don't know fuck pluto um <laughs> technically you have nine planets but it's what whatever uh the whole point is like you know everyone needs to have their light shining everyone needs to be like helping other people you need to figure out who you want to help why you're helping them and then you know everyone just needs to shine on each other everyone needs to spread the light and you can't like you can't you can't rain on people's parades. You can't rain on people's lights. You can't shit on people for being their authentic self. You're you're a shitty person too. We all make mistakes. Stop being so judgmental. No one has the right to judge anyone. Understand that like that feeling of like judginess and like being like, damn, like why do you say that? Why do you do this? Like that's so low. Like that's a low vibration. That's gonna bring about darkness into your life. Like you can't be doing that shit. And I really, really can't express that enough. Basically, uh, I just went over, like, the chakras, rainbow body. Um, so, Fagio frequencies are, like, a whole podcast on their own. Like, I'm not even going to bring those up. But I can link a playlist to meditations and sleep meditations that I use. And it's, like, this is the key. Like, if you want to really tap into different chakras and charge them using frequencies, which, like, each one is targeted by a different sofagio frequency from 396 hertz to 963 hertz. This is, like, the root to the crown. It's really... it's. Not that deep, but they have many powers, and like I said, it's its own podcast. It's all in my course. Everything I've mentioned in these Hermetic Principles and so much more detail is in this course. I'm going to keep talking about the course in, like, every podcast now because, like, I really don't care about, like, sharing this. Like, I'm going to start, like, building some, like, real, like, hype for this course because, like, when I release this shit, like, it's gonna, like, change the world. Like, I know it. Like, I know how much knowledge I have about this area and how powerful this knowledge actually is in creating the life that you want. And if you really do want something, you can get whatever it is that you want. And I know that. And the whole point is, like, why do you want it in the first place? What are your intentions? And then once you have proper intentions and proper decision-making skills in place, and this includes having a reasoning behind making decisions, consequentialism, deontology, it's all in the course. I'm telling y'all, it all comes down to vibration. Stay high, stay lifted. You understand what I'm trying to say. Be a light worker, spread the light, focus on exposing your own light by embracing the darkness. If you were in the absence of all light, you would be completely engulfed in the darkness. And once you are in that point, no one around you can show you any light besides yourself. That's when you're actually going to figure out where can I help society? Because at that point, if you're not helping society, you're just going to be lost forever. You're going to be lost in the darkness. No one's going to be there. You won't even have a black hole to guide you. You are the black hole at that point. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You got to figure out what to do when you become the black hole. How are you going to expose the light? It really... It really gets deep, but yeah, like don't don't take energy from other people and then not give them back anything. Like no one likes a taker. You gotta be like you gotta be a light person. Like you gotta be you gotta be exposing your inner light, and this can only happen by exposing your mistakes, your authentic your authentic self, those shortcomings. Stop trying to live in darkness just let your light out like you understand how to be a good person now this be a good person like don't even like think about it this like i'm just gonna go pick up some trash on the ground because i care about the planet okay i do it like every time i'm out in public like i don't and i i hate doing it when people are watching me because i'm thinking they're judging me for picking up trash yeah of course they're fucking judging you they're like damn look at this dude picking up trash like who does that and, like, I'm like, uh, I guess I do. And I do it more when no one's watching because uh, I don't have the fear of judgment. And it's like, damn, 
Fuck what people think. I'm telling you, fear is the lowest of all vibrations. If you want to become a better person, you got to get out of fear. And it doesn't even say it's the lowest. The lowest, lowest is shame, which is like if you kill someone or like rape someone or like do something like kind of really, really bad, um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. And you have to find a way to not feel like shame. And that's by like doing things that are actually good. And uh, yeah, this like... Find your way out of those, like, shame, guilt, apathy, grief, and, like, fear. And let go of desire. Stop being angry. Don't let your pride be taking control of you. Like, tell your ego off, and you can become the best version of yourself, too. The whole point is to express your inner light. Let go of who you are and become one with the universe. That everything is connected is how all these vibrations work. Everything you put out is what you get back, meaning every feeling you have, people can feel feel around you especially when your feelings become stronger as you become a higher vibrational being it's like it's it's true like if you're if you're at the face of the franchise and like you're like the uh we'll say you're elon musk and you have a bad day and because you're having a bad day and you're really upset and you go tell someone to fuck off everyone's gonna see it uh, he literally did this, but luckily people didn't, like, react that poorly to it, but he actually, like, told someone, to, like, he just was like, nah, fuck you, and, like, you gotta be careful doing that stuff, because, like, once you have that level of, like, reputation, like, you just gotta understand that your reputation means more than anything else, for real, this is all, this is what I have to say, the law of vibration is powerful, it works in frequencies, Understand that if you learn the keys to frequencies, energy, and vibrations, you will understand one of the major keys of the universe. That's basically a paraphrase of Nikola Tesla's quote. With that, my name is Nate Sarantino, and this was the Guided Spirits Podcast.